In this exercise, we're going to deal with an issue that will probably be pointed out at some point, which is, well, this is uh, all well and good, but is there any graphic that sort of goes with the word Xi'an? And it's been decided that, yeah, there is a graphic that goes with it. It should be the Chinese characters for the word. Fireworks doesn't do Chinese characters. So the plan is, is to bring in an Illustrator document. And if you open up the um, Xi'an AI file in Illustrator, you'll see these are the two characters for the word Xi'an. These are the Chinese characters. And they've been uh, drawn and are ready for placement into Fireworks. Now, remember, Fireworks is a combination of bitmap and vectors. So by saving it as an AI document, you're actually retaining the vectors. So let's bring this drawing into Fireworks. So we'll pop back to Fireworks. And we're going to put it on the master page. So we'll just go to the master page right here, pages, master page, and we file, import. And inside your exercise folder is the Xi'an AI file. There are the characters. And you just click open, and Fireworks opens up the Illustrator import dialog box. And it's asking you a few questions. Do you want to bring it in the same size? What width, what height do you want? This is the width and height of the AI document. This is the resolution of it. How do you want to handle the text and the paths with uh, anti-aliasing? What artboards do you want to bring in? Yes, you can bring in individual artboards if you wish from Illustrator. It also brings in the layers as well. So we're not going to really change much here. We're just going to click OK. And you'll see there's the angle bracket that indicates an import. And if you click it, you look at it and you go, hold on, that's black. Well, yeah, but it's vectors, remember? So there's the item right there. And if we come to the fill and just change it to white, our vectors are now filled with white. So you can actually bail out of little problems that may occur when you are designing these things in Illustrator and you realize, oh my God, I got the wrong color. And if you choose the uh, sub-select tool, you'll notice that you can actually work with the individual vectors as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this graphic and we're going to move it up to the top of the page, kind of where it belongs, and get the scale tool and let's bring it down to size. So you just click that bottom right hand corner, hold down your shift key, push it up to the top there, and you can see that you've now got the logo in place. And it's a little bit too close to the word Shein, so let's just move that over. And we can use the arrow keys for that. And if you want, you can actually align these things using the alignment panel. So let's align them on the uh, center. There we go. Okay, so now that they're properly aligned, let's see how all this looks. So we'll go back to our Pages panel, come to the home page, and there is the characters. And if we go through each of the individual pages, you can see that they're all there. So importing Illustrator is not a difficult process. Just be aware that there are some limitations. There are some filters in Illustrator that will not move. If that's the case, you might want to just flatten the layers and bring it in as Ping32 document or even as a JPEG. It's a fairly straightforward process. You'll notice that it comes in as vectors, which means that you can use the various tools in the uh, vectors area of the toolbox to edit the vectors if you make a mistake or something needs to be uh, tweaked. And you can also change the color of the objects within Fireworks.